Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with another subscriber requested video for you. So I was recently asked to talk about tuberose perfumes, and um, I have I have plenty of tuberose fragrances in my collection, or I should say, plenty of fragrances that have tuberose in them in my collection because tuberose is actually pretty common in fragrances, but. I pulled five. These are what I would say are the most tuberose forward fragrances in my collection. So yeah, I don't have a ton, but I'm gonna jump right in. I'll tell you why I don't have a ton. It's because of this one right here. Um, in my mind, this is the only tuberose fragrance I need in my life. This is my most tuberose forward fragrance. This is Alexander McQueen, McQueen Parfum. Um, I'm obsessed with this perfume. I'm obsessed with this bottle. I love everything about this. Oh my gosh, this, supposedly this is inspired by, um, what is the fragrance that all the celebrities wore back in like the 60s? It was like, a, I think it was a Robert P. Gay fragrance. I can't remember, but anyways, Madonna, she like, her Truth or Dare fragrance, she modeled it after that fragrance as well, and I've heard that this one is modeled after that fragrance as well. Um, this is a really beautiful, this is actually quite a clean tuberose. Um, it's not indolic, it's clean, this has got some pepper in it, so it's a little bit peppery. It's a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. It's just, it's a perfect tuberose fragrance in my, in my opinion. Um, I love it because tuberose can be quite overwhelming, but this is not overwhelming. This is just, it's beautiful, it's clean, it's very classy and classic smelling. Um, it smells, it smells like something that you would smell, you know, that somebody famous wore in the 60s, but without smelling vintage. It's gorgeous. It's, in my opinion, it is the only tuberose fragrance that you need in your collection. It is fantastic. So anyways, that is uh, Alexander McQueen, McQueen Parfum. Okay, this next one, and this is what I find a lot. A lot of my perfumes that have tuberose in them also have jasmine and gardenia, and that is definitely the case with this one here. This is Orlov Paris Orlov. Gosh, this is so beautiful. This is like a, this is a sweet, crisp tuberose and jasmine scent. It is so beautiful. It smells like sweet, clean nectar. It is stunning. This one is great for hot weather. Um, this is for people that want a tuberose fragrance but don't want anything, again, too overwhelming, indolic, too sweet, anything like that. You want something a little bit on the more um, fresh side. That's what this one is like. I love this scent. This is um, this was one of the first niche bottles of perfume that I ever bought, and. I'm glad that I did because I love it. I just think it's such a beautiful fragrance. So anyways, that is Orlov Paris Orlov. Okay, this next one, this is such an iconic fragrance and it's such a beautiful tuberose. Um, this is Britney Spears Curious. This is a fresh, almost slightly soapy scent that has a really gorgeous tuberose note in it. I love this one so much. If you're looking for, if you just wanna dip your toes into tuberose, um, if you're looking for one that's like a good beginner tuberose fragrance, I cannot recommend this one enough. This is such a beautiful, kind of light, clean. It's got a little bit of a soapiness to it. It's not indolic at all. It's not like drippy sweet. Um, it's not too much. It's perfect. It's such a beautiful, it's such a classic scent too. There are women out there who have literally literally been wearing this since it came out. Like this has been their signature for however many years this perfume has been out and it's been out since I think like 2005 or something crazy. Um, it's gorgeous. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Curious. This next one, this is such a to me, this is such a like quintessential tuberose fragrance. It's just one of the most beautiful ever, and I love it so much. This is just the original Juicy Couture fragrance. I'm sorry, I lied. I have six, I have six perfumes here. Oh, because I included one that my beautiful fragrance friend Tatiana just sent to me. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite tuberose fragrances of all time. This is like a it's a sweet and modern 
tuberose and it's sweet without really being indolic. It's gorgeous. This definitely takes me back to like the 2000s. It smells like the early 2000s to me. Um, it's such a beautiful, feminine, sweet, clean, warm tuberose. Um, this is another one that I could recommend this one. I could recommend this one the way that I would recommend Curious. If you're, if you want a, like a kind of a beginner tuberose fragrance, this would be a great one. So anyways, that is Juicy Couture, just the original Juicy Couture. Okay, this is the one that I just added because my fragrance friend, Tatiana, just sent this to me. And this is actually a Creed fragrance. This is Creed Tuberous Indiana. And I have not even tested this, but I wanted to talk about it because it is definitely a tuberose fragrance. Um, she said, yeah, she said that she didn't like this one. It didn't work for her. Um, this is an indolic tuberose. This is a 100% like very indolic tuberose. Almost, this is gonna sound bad, but almost fecal smelling a little bit. I would be willing to bet that that aspect of it goes away after, after this dries down on your skin, but this is a great example of a very indolic, almost fecal smelling tuberose. It's really pretty. I'm excited to try it out because I will probably have to deal with that kind of fecal smelling aspect of it for um, a few minutes, but I have a feeling that this one is just going to dry down and be really, really beautiful. So that's a really good, um, this is a really good example of a very indolic tuberose. So this one is Creed Tuberous Indiana. Another one I love is Amouage Tuberous Love. Um, that's a really, really gorgeous tuberose. I have, I think I've got a, I do, I've got a travel spray of it, but I didn't pull it out. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got this one here from Dossier. This is Dossier Floral Honeysuckle, which is a Gucci Bloom, which is one of my favorite tuberose fragrances as well. Um, this is like, again, this is like the um, Juicy Couture or the Britney Spears Curious. It's a very light, easygoing, not at all indolic, not too sweet, fresh tu tuberose. It's really, really gorgeous. The tuberose is absolutely the most prominent note in this fragrance. Um, it's beautiful. This is another one that would be a good, I still think that, I do think that the Juicy or the Britney Spears would be a better beginner fragrance, but this one is not far behind it. I wouldn't say that this is like intermediate, but this one is definitely more, um, it's closer to the Alexander McQueen, McQueen parfum in terms of the type of tuberose that it is. It's beautiful. It's very, it's a very heavy tuberose fragrance, but without being indolic, it's a perfect middle of the road type fragrance. Um, if you like Another one that would be a great one is the Michael Kors, just the original Michael Kors. I've also heard that the Kim Kardashian fragrance in the black bottle is also a really beautiful tuberose fragrance. Um, those are some more that are affordable and just really, really beautiful. So anyways, that is Dossier Floral Honeysuckle, which is Gucci Bloom. And that is gonna be it, guys. I don't keep a ton of tuberose fragrances in my collection because I love it, but um, I just feel like you don't need that many. Um, and a lot of fragrances actually have tuberose in them. They just aren't like super tuberose forward. So I do have more than this. Um, if you guys are really, really interested in more tuberose, let me know and I will get into, um, I'm sure, I know I have more and I'll get into travel sprays and things like that. But I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.